Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a project share. Uh, this is a Christmas project. Um, it's a little late. It's also, um, it was a bead swap hosted by Poochie on Instagram. Um, mine's, um, like I said, a little late, uh, or a lot late. But um, it just it took me a long time. Once I started, I couldn't stop. I couldn't go back. I couldn't make something else. Um, but I didn't want to half-ass it, so I just I had to finish it. Um, the bead box, the bead swap was a bead box, and this is basically the packaging for the bead box. Uh, the bead box is in the first drawer. Um, this is basically... I was inspired by the drawers uh, from or by um, pink and yellow sequins on Instagram. Two years ago, she made a drawers um, set. It was more drawers uh, and basically did like a. I'm not sure what to call it, but kind of like a shadow box, but it was open. It was just the the drawers, and um, I really liked it. So I was going to, for that, except. Um, I ended up the design for the furniture piece was inspired by my own uh, dresser in my bedroom. Um, it's just a longer dresser and the bookshelf is actually here in my craft room. It's where I hold my dice. I took it off but it was what I was going for because I wanted to do a shadow box. And that is what I made here. I'm going to go through it as quickly as I can to not make the video super long but um let's see um i was also inspired to use foam board i was gonna make it out of all paper but i did the foam board because of um, um christian on christian's craft ventures here on youtube um she did her little bookshelf with uh embell embellishment books and i just um i ended up doing the the foam board for that and it was easier than I was going to do the paper because everything was probably going to look all um, warped because if it was just going to be paper. Uh, I'll start at the bottom. I did this typewriter with this um, paper. It's supposed to be kind of like um, Santa's List. And um, all I did was stamp a piece of paper, and the paper is actually from one of the pattern papers that had just mostly the, you know, the beige. Uh, I just did stamping, and I embossed it in gold. I don't know if you can tell. Changed my lighting there. I don't think you can tell anyway. Um, I kind of distressed the, the sides. I just bent it with the bone folder and I glued it on the bookshelf directly and then this piece right here is a metal piece it's one of these I got it in a d-stash years ago and so it's just one of these I spray painted it in pink and then I used a gold marker for the the things that were um, st sticking out I guess and then I did, um, from the same D-Stash, I got this little teacup. It's supposed to be a charm, I think. And the spoon as well in the same D-Stash. This is my, this, I only had one of these spoons and one of these teacups. I have a, a smaller one, a teeny tiny one. And I have bigger spoons, but I don't have the same sizes anymore. So this is my only thing I could make with it. I made one of those faux um, coffee things that are very popular right now. And uh, put some sprinkles on it. I did this cane out of clay, a candy cane. I spray painted the cup. And then I used a bottle cap for the little tray. And I spray painted the spoon also. And I cut off the charm part. It was um, just the same color as this thing. It was all this color. Like a bronze or brass. I'm not sure. And then I did some presents here in the back out of paper. This one I did like an open box. I put some crepe paper, kind of like tissue because I didn't have any tissue at the moment. This is a button. I just put it like if it was, you know, getting wrapped up. There's another present in the back. 
And then on this side, um, I don't know, I just put some toilet paper rolls. I kind of wanted to make it seem like this is a 2020 project, but without actually writing down 2020. So I did one of those um, toilet paper um, embellishments. I just used the felt and a straw for the center. These were on my to-do list all year, but I never, I didn't get a chance to, to make them as actual, like, as an actual embellishment. Um, this little baggie, it's Santa's bag. It, it didn't start out as Santa's anything. It just kind of evolved. I believe it started giving me Santa's work desk vibes. So I kind of went with it. But I'm not sure if he would be, you know, drinking out of a pink teacup. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I put a little toy button here, kind of kind of make it seem like it's all getting bagged up so these are these are buttons also this is a button that's a button I spray painted the bow and I spray painted the pieces I took the button apart and I spray painted the pieces and then I put it back together and this is just a candy cane from Hobby Lobby and the little bag I made it out of ribbon it was a ribbon from Hobby Lobby I just sewed a little bag and I put some cotton inside to hold it and then some some of this um uh rope thing <laughs> gold um what is it like twine um cord anyways I cut a circle and then I cut a strip and then I just sewed it around the circle it was a little messy but it didn't matter because I kind of wanted it to look like that and then it's sewed in the back but I just hot glued it to the shelf and that's the bottom tier this right here is a, well, I was trying to make it like an an ornament box. And it has a Making Spirits Bright. Um, just a, a word out of the word um, phrase packets that I sell. I made the box and I made like a, I used a die to make the cutout. I put some acetate on it. And it looks like a little ornament box. It was inspired. Um, I was inspired by I forgot the name right now. Um, but it's a uh, it's, it's an Instagram. It was an Instagram post. It was a a vintage. It, it was a printout, and then they made it like that. And I was trying. I I just didn't want to deal with printing and sizing and cutting, so I just did a box, like a plain box. And I just cut it out. And um, just use some beads as the ornaments. And I added some of that packaging stuff in it. And this is a Tim Holtz uh, glass thing, like a dome glass. I just went ahead and added a treat in it and kind of made it like a little snow globe. Then um, I have some books here. And these are actually removable. and But they're not really, they're not functional. Cause, oh, sorry, my hand. I just, I made it the same way as the Halloween books that I made. But like I said, they're not really functional. I mean, I guess you could use these um, individually and alter them if she wanted to. The I think, I didn't glue. No, they're all removable. Alright. And then this little cutie here is an elf on the shelf in pink. And I made her out of pipe cleaner and a wooden bead and some felt. And I'm going to give you a closer look at the other one. This is the first one that I made. And it is completely bendable. And I did share this on, on a live on Instagram, but... I did not save it because I didn't want to spoil a surprise. So whoever was in the live was the only people who saw it. So here's him. And I just painted the face. And this is another one that I had started but I never finished. So I think it turned out kind of cute. Really cute actually. So there's that. Um, the next 
up. Oh, I'm sorry, I used a tutorial for this. I just made it smaller for mine, the one that I did. The tutorial was by an account called um, Mrs. Frogger or Mrs. Froggy. I will look for it and I will link it. The top shelf just has a variety of um, uh, little glass jars. This one has some glitter. This one has also glitter. There's the one in the back. What is it? it has beads in the back. But they're all glued down, so I mean, they're not usable. And then I put some candy canes in this one, and I put a candy cane just here. And then I use some beads to do kind of that, like that decoration. People, you know, you, you buy um, decorations that has words on them. Usually from dollar stores, I've seen a lot of, um, like, items bought from there and altered. And then I have put a little snowman here, and then this is a tree that I made out of yarn. And I do have a tutorial on how to make the trees. I just made that one out of yarn, and the same for these. These were made from the tutorial. Um, this one I just did it out of yarn, and I decorated it with beads. And then these itty bitty gnomes I made also just with the pom pom. So I have a tutorial on making the gnomes, but the gnomes that I made on the tutorial were bigger. This is just a, a tiny version. I, I will try to make another video because I did not use the same material for the beard. And then this is just the felt. I went ahead and stitched it with my sewing machine in red thread. And then a tiny pom pom for the nose. And then these are, um, oh, this is just a hanging star right here. And then the lights are just seed beads with the wire wrapping. I just went ahead and um, put them on the string and tied, and tied it, each individual one. And then um, I glued it on top. And then on the side here we have a picture of Santa. I made the frame out of clay. And then I just put some gold on it. You can't really see. I don't know. It looks a little translucent. It was just supposed to be mint colored. But it, after I baked it, it became translucent. And then I had other plans for the sides. But um, I, was just, I was just taking too long. And I didn't have time to make everything that I wanted. So for another future project. And then this is the house. Um, die, die cut. No, it's a die cut, yeah, house from the Tim Holtz um, dies that Jessica sent me. And then I put some faux snow right here. Faux snow. Then I think that is it for the top part. And then for the drawers. So the top, <clears throat> the top drawer just has my actual swap. So this is the... This is a, a a little knob thing. It's a Tim Holtz thing. I don't know what it's called. But here I left it plain because it was already really tight to put the drawer in it. Because I have to work on the measurements. But this is my bead box. It just has all types of different beads and different colors and mixes. Like I put some... Oh, this one has silver and blue kind of like a silver Christmas, this is a more traditional Christmas, sorry if the lighting is kind of weird, and then this is some fancy pink beads, here we have some stars and different, um, different, ty different type of stars, here are some pearls in the soft colors, and then here are some blue and pink, and then here are different mixes. This is pink and gold. So I have some caged ones. And then um, some itty bitty ones. This is red and gold. Same thing. Some caged. And this is supposed to look like an ornament. And then here I have the pastels. I like this one here. And then this is like um, like a Hey Santa. It has the pink and the red and the green. And some turquoise. And then here are the big ones. Uh, these ones I didn't wire wrap just because I just wanted to give her something she could use how she wanted. 
but I mostly put um, these larger caged ones. So, oh no, it's not closing. All right, and that's the first drawer, and it does. It's not perfect. I have to when I make this again. I have to change the measurements for this. Okay, and then the bottom drawer. It's a little more tough <laughs> or tougher. This one I just did some larger embellishments for this. I just did um some divided. Um, sections here. I wanted to add some tool bows and I have some stitch rosettes here. And this may or may not be her own shred she sent me. <laughs> and then um, I have some stitched bows here as well. The stitching, the gold stitching on the outside and then the, go um, the gold thread. And then I have some tassels here. So she can use these for Valentine's if she wants to as well. Same colors. All the pastels. So that is all I'm going to share for the video. Um, I did add some other goodies. Actually, I'm going to show one more thing. So I'm sending her some... What's it called? paper trim so I made this I don't know if you can tell in the in this lighting but it's a iridescent pink and it's a, a fabric from Walmart so I'm sending her some of that and I also made these faux snow rosettes I was gonna make kits as you all know but those kits were cancelled and they are now Valentine kits. But I was going to be making... I already made all the rosettes, but I didn't. I still had to do the faux snow. Um, thankfully, I didn't do it all. I just did a couple. So I finished it off for her rosettes. I think they turned out really pretty. and It's not really... I mean, it is falling out, but it's. I just thought it was all going to fall out. And it's... On there so I'm letting her show the rest it's just it's all stuff I've shown before the embellishments that I've shared in a different video packages them up for her so that's it for this video um, I hope you guys liked it I hope the anticipation was worth it on my sneak peeks forgot to mention that I did add some beads at the bottom and this made me um, Made me have to look for a different box because it, after the beads, it didn't fit in the box. But anyways, um, you guys have a great week or weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.